Tell yourself you want to stay pure. Yep. So when you're looking for that that future spouse of yours, it's really tough because how many other people in the world carry that same that same desire exactly. to, to be with somebody that's not only a virgin in the flesh, but like spiritually actually wants to be a virgin. Mm -hmm. Because you can be a virgin and still be a thought, a hoe yeah. in your flesh, still be lustful and do all types of other crazy stuff yeah. without technically yeah. having sex. Agreed. And so, so it, it makes it really tough and challenging, especially when you want to live for, you know, your creator, for the Heavenly Father. It's like, well, what, what do you, what do you do? Yeah, uh, it's 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 a big thing, you know. I think virginity is, is so key, you know. A lot of times, you know, I, you know, I've seen videos, I've seen relationships, and if there's a virgin and a non-virgin, they're, you know, not to get into too much things, but there's a lot of things that don't work and stuff. You know, there's a lot of problems that come about. Um, because there's still that power dynamic. Whoever's the vir whoever's the virgin is gonna be looked at as innocent, as babyish, you know, mm -hmm. baby like, you know. And I think it's an even bigger problem, you know, to be quite honest, if it's a male virgin and a female non virgin, because she's gonna feel like, oh, I have more experience than you, you know. And also, it comes into the play as soul ties when you start. <laughs> people don't get, you know. Um, the comparison thing is real, and I've hear I, I, I personally I obviously don't know and stuff, you know, but I've hear other people's testimonies of saying when I'm having sex, uh, sometimes and stuff, other people come in my mind, or I start thinking about other times I've had sex with other people, and they start comparing, you know, the the beautiful thing of how y'all set it up was a version and a version. Um, Off Darren kind of spoke to this a little bit and stuff, you know, but it's like. Um, they're supposed to come together and learn and stuff, you know, and it shouldn't be uh, somebody already experienced, you know, having to compare, you know. You're not supposed to be able to compare it to nothing but the other spouse. Yeah, and I think you mentioned something, too, that's key is, like, the power dynamic, right? If you even go back to Adam and Eve, we talked a little bit about this. Yeah. Adam and Eve, the, the very first couple <laughs> ever, Adam came first, yep. then Eve. He was the, the lesser, the younger vessel. Mm. And they were both That's virgins, crazy. but then they, you know, were fruitful and multiplied. All they knew was each other. That's crazy. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's yeah. the way it was designed. All right? But, you know, in the midst of society telling y'all, man, you need to go get you some. You know, you need to go get you some. You know, it, it, that's an error. Yeah. Like, we're chasing all the wrong things. And we should be waiting. Really, I'm not even going to say, like, looking and searching so hard because... Once you start searching, once you start looking, you put yourself in the mist, that, that's when the flesh gets a hold and things go haywire. And then you find the one that you think is the mm -hmm. one, and then you wake up 15 years later and are thinking to yourself, this was a horrible, horrible mistake. If I could take it back in a second, I would. And I can't believe I had children by this person. I, I have my own personal experience with, with my, my mother, my biological father. I, I thank my Heavenly Father every day that they did not get married. Mm -hmm. Because if they would have gotten married, the fights they would have had, the anger, because I, I, I recognize the different flaws in both of them. Yeah. We all got flaws. Yeah. I'm not going to make it seem like that's just something terrible, right? But the dynamic between them both, my father was he was a whore. He was a hoe. Mm -hmm. My man hoe. He was out here doing whatever. My mom was more celibate, more you know, a sweet person. And he would have definitely used her and all types of stuff. But then I've also seen relationships fail. Like where they people get married and then yeah. have children. And then only after 10, 11, 12 years are they really sitting back late at night asking themselves, yeah, 
God, Heavenly Father, is this really your design? Is this really who I'm supposed to be with? That is that is scary because then it's like, what do you do after that? Exactly. That's one of the worst questions to have. You in a marriage and you start questioning, is this the person you have for me? It's too late. What, what, what are we talking about? At least it relates to the truth. We know you can only do only certain things uh, uh, qualify for you to get a divert, uh, divorce. You know, uh, but you know, don't let you also have kids with this person. You start questioning that. Like you, when people when you file for that divorce, you open up a whole can of worms. I mean, you're gonna go through so many problems. Don't let people lie to you. Oh, you can just you know. <laughs> Just, just drop this person and stuff, you know, and just move on and stuff. Oh, I'm just going to move on. Nah, not when you have kids. Not when you're dealing with, uh, uh, when you have other things, financial situations. That's another big one. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's so, it's so many different things, you know. This is why marriage is so serious. You have to, have to pray and make sure that the person you're with is from the most high. Because most relationships out here, to be quite honest, they're not from the most high. They're not. Um, and, and, you know, not to say most how I won't work in it, but you may have to go through more things. He might put, he might have you to go through this and that and that, and it may last the whole relationship. You might be like wondering, like, why do I still go with this, go through this with my spouse? Why are they still like this? Why are they still doing these type of things? Most high is like, I didn't, I didn't, I want you to, I didn't, uh, that wasn't the person I had for you. So you're gonna have to go through that for the whole relationship as a consequence. Be lucky. Uh, I don't even want to say be lucky. Be grateful that I don't just wreck it and destroy you no. for that. That's grace on most side, actually. Yes. Yes. And it makes you think about King David. <laughs> and, you know, for those who are watching, you don't know. King David, he had it all. He had the kingdom. He had the riches. He had the power. You know, the most high was looking down with a smile like I'm about to make an everlasting covenant with my people through you mm -hmm. that was the plan and then Bathsheba he saw her he lusted after her he got her pregnant mm -hmm. right and then and then as a consequence of him you know going out and seeking a woman that was not for him mm -hmm. that was not ordained by Yah not only did the baby die but then all his children Except for Solomon, who would come later, all of his children got killed. What? His daughter was raped by his son. And then his older son had the son who raped his daughter killed. Mm -hmm. And then Absalom, his son, turned against David, basically ran him out of his own city and, mm -hmm. you know, slept with his concubines. Mm -hmm. All of these things that were derived from him sleeping with the wrong woman. That and the principle still applies today. We see it all around us. Yep. It's just we're not King David, so it's not so. It doesn't seem so grand. But really, when you think about it, think of all the children's lives who have been forever altered, destroyed because of their parents sleeping, living with, marrying the wrong person. It's insane. Like there's a reason why we have a lot of these killers. And to be quite honest, all these murderers and stuff. You know all these drug dealer stuff, a lot of, you you know, everything, etc. Uh, if you look back at their childhood, they had a single parent in the home, whether it be the mom or the dad. Or if they were in a home with, uh, uh, you know, a mom and a dad, it was toxic as heck. Or, and, and it was not meant to be. You know, a lot of it stems from childhood, you know. And a lot of people don't think about when they marry, it's like the outcome of, okay, what if we have a kid? You know, and you know, we all you and me and stuff really supposed to be together and stuff. Are we supposed to have the kid? You know, because you're affecting another human being. Like it's, <laughs> it's insane. You know, um, it's just the seriousness of a marriage. I don't think a lot of people think about. Um, we, and and they push young people just like, oh yeah, just go get married, just go get married and stuff. It's like make sure they get married to the right person. Like <laughs> let's not just push young people. Oh yeah. I saw y'all looking at, oh, y'all be great. No, make sure they're the right person. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to hear, us, oh, you know, we talk to the parents. Sometimes you got to be, you got to ask questions, ask a lot of questions. 
really, you know, really get personal and stuff, you know, because this is a serious thing, like, you know, um, pray about it and stuff. Ask God to send you signs because sometimes people ain't honest. Sometimes they just want to see their kids married. They won't be honest with you. Sometimes y'all has to reveal things to you and like, no, 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 no. This, nope, I don't want you to be with them because of this, you know, and it's not being shown to you. Yep, and, and it's crazy because I know there's a lot of people that are not even necessarily in the truth, but like they pray for a sign, yep. you know, oh, please show yes. me if this is yes. this who you want me to be, you know, show me. If this is not who you want me to be, show me. And he will show us. Yep. But did you hear him? Do you recognize it? Mm. You know, <laughs> and, and it may come in an, or, in an unorthodox, unexpected way. Like if I said, yeah, please show me that this is not the woman I'm supposed to be with. And then the next day she comes in and we start an argument. That could have been the sign right there. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yes. But we got to get out of our own carnal headspace and be able to recognize things in a spiritual sense. Yep. Because otherwise we're going to keep perpetuating the same cycle. Yep. It's, oh, well, he didn't tell me. What you want him to whisper in your ear? <laughs> Even if he did that, you're not going to be able to hear him because <laughs> you got the phones, you got the headphones yep. in. We not we not ready for that type of you know communication, yep. but he'll show you in a different way. But you just gotta be able to pick it up. It's crazy what you just said. Pray pray for that sign. I would say to anybody in court right now and stuff, you know, you're in a relationship right now. Ask y'all, ask y'all, send me a sign. Ask y'all on both sides, and mm -hmm. don't make don't tell no one else so they won't yeah. try to influence it and yeah. stuff any type of way. Ask y'all, show me this sign if it is meant to be. And please show me this sign if it's not meant to be. Get specific. You know, obviously don't do nothing crazy, like un crazy, unrealistic and stuff. Be be uh, reasonable with your sign. You know, just ask y'all for a sign and just sit and wait. And, you know, see what he shows you. And don't, when he when he shows you the sign, whatever, whatever he says, whether it's uh, yes or no, go with it. Because if you don't, the, the the level of punishment he can put he might put you through it's not worth the, it. the how life altering that would be and it may be scary you might be like oh, I'm not gonna ask for nothing but, but if you don't there could also be a great punishment uh, coming you know if you don't ask for this sign there could also be a life altering decision you may make if you don't ask so Man. you do you do um, what you feeling what you feel you're being led, you know, to do. Yeah, I think you mentioned a key thing, though. Like, when you pray in these things, you pray and you wait. Yep. Pray and you wait. Mm -hmm. If you pray and then take action, you've then put yourself above Yah. Yep. You've then made yourself your own mighty one because mm -hmm. now you're obeying your own inner thoughts, your own questions. You're answering your own questions, essentially, yep. and that's where mistake lies. Yep. So you pray, then you wait for the signs to be fulfilled. All right, and I, man, you just got some little nuggets. <laughs> totally. You also were talking about if you don't pray, if you don't pray for something, you'll get nothing. Yep. And that that nothing may come in the form of, of a person. Yep. Oh man, that that's crazy. That's that crazy. that nothing may come in the form of a person, and that you don't want to be with that nothing. It's not worth it. <laughs> It's crazy because they they the end result will be nothing for you. Eternally nothing and yeah. eternal nothing. That is hey, marriage is real. Yeah. This is deep stuff. Yeah, it and, is. You know, and we've we've talked about, you know, trying to avoid the mistakes, but it's also a covenant. Like if you are in a marriage, it's not just a piece of paper that you sign, even though that's no. what the government, that's what society tries to make it seem like. It's so much more. Yeah. It's like you shared a piece of yourself with that person. You become one. Yeah. You yep. become a unit. That is a huge. There's nothing greater, like in this physical realm, as far as like a merger. No. The marriage, the having sex, that's a covenant. Yeah. And that's why, you know, people talk about soul ties. That's exactly what that yeah, is. Yeah, it's a real thing. It's a real thing. It's not no just term. I heard, oh, soul ties and stuff. No, it's it's serious. Very, very serious. And I, I'll share this. This is my personal story. I had a, uh, a girlfriend in high school. And uh, and I, I know this 
I know better now, but I've always been more in tune spiritually, even when I wasn't a spiritual person, like my discernment, my level of comfortability was just different. And I had kissed her, I had kissed this, this girl, my girlfriend in high school, and, um, and I kid you not, for like three weeks, I could feel her emotions. Word. It was like a borderline soul tie. We didn't That's have sex, crazy. but apparently that was enough for me, for yeah. me personally. I mean, it's not going to be like this for everybody. Yeah. But it was, I literally, like, I would, in the middle of the day, I'd start feeling, like, flustered, upset. Like, like nah, why is this? That's crazy. And I would call her, and she's like, man, I'm, I'm actually kind of upset right now because I'm like, what? I'm like, I was wondering where these emotions come from. I'm like, I'm, I'm cool. My day is fine. But for some reason, I just snap for no reason. She's like, that's crazy. I'm like, yeah, so soul ties are real. And I just scratch the surface. I'm not even, I can't even imagine being like when I actually have sex with somebody. That'd be ridiculous. But it's serious, though. Yeah. The point I'm trying to make is that it's real. When you do that thing, you go into somebody, somebody goes into you, you have become one. Spiritual aspect of it, people just don't get how serious or what's going on in the spirit, man. Like whatever they're dealing with, you deal with. There's a lot of reasons why. A lot of times, you have attributes that people are dealing with in relationships, and they a lot of people call it rubbing off. No, it's spirit. <laughs> now you could call it rubbing off if you want, but what it is is a spirit. spirit. Yep. A lot of times, when you when when you know a wife and a husband they come together and stuff, you know, but they have different things they're dealing with. Sometimes you start to see the other person start dealing with other uh, with the same issue. Yes, sir. And it's like, whoa, what's going on? It's cont- is it contagious? Is it is it uh, uh oh, it's just rubbing off? No, it's it's spirit and stuff, you yeah. know. Um, <laughs> it, it's crazy because you th- think about these diseases. It's just like these diseases, uh, you know, how they transmit it and stuff. You know, a lot of them and stuff is through intercourse. You know, um, that's a it's, it's a physical thing and it's a spiritual thing. Yeah. And uh, it leads to death. You know, it's just a very serious thing. You know, um, it's, it's it's crazy. You know, it's just the uh, how y'all has it and stuff. How y'all makes that work? Because you know, you mentioned it. Like you become one flesh, and just it, it could be a good thing. You know, if you do it right, if yeah. it, if it's through y'all, big if. And it could be a <laughs> terrible thing if you don't if 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 you don't listen to y'all. If it's not the person he has for you, it can be awful Absolutely. and ruin you. Absolutely. That's why, like, like you, you hit it home. And I guess to summarize, it, to summarize it, it's like the person that you're attracted to, that you're questioning, if this is who I want to be, write down all of their attributes, qualities, their baggage. Mm-hmm. And now ask yourself, are you willing to take that on? Because that's exactly what having sex and being married is. Yeah. You take on all of their spirits, yeah. good and bad. Yeah. You got to ask yourself, is it worth it? Yeah. That's real. And if it's not, then... You should be like, hey, hey, yeah, I don't think this is it. Yeah. You know, and if if you're willing, if if you are honest with yourself and you're like, yeah, I can do this. Like this, this makes sense. Even like even our our spirits are like <laughs> to each other. My list of qualities and traits and attributes are pretty much the same as hers. Mm-hmm. Then that's a, that's a good sign. That's a great like, sign. Yeah, you know, obviously pray is a word. Oh yeah, you know, pray, uh, but yeah, for sure. That that that's a good start. I mean, a lot of people don't even start with that. They're just like, oh, you're cute. Oh, I think you're cute too. Oh, let's let's get married. Um, <laughs> it's, it's 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 crazy, you know. Yeah, but yeah. I think I think that's that was great what you touched on. That that's that's a good close right there. Just yeah, yeah just look at the attributes. What are you able to deal with those? Look at the bad attributes, good and bad. Are you able to deal with that? Yeah, are you willing to carry all that? Yeah. Yeah, it's been real, y'all. Yeah. We appreciate that. Oh,